Muslims launch Wiki Islam in Arabic. This is amazing. We have a really exciting announcement. Ex-Muslims of North America recently released this press release, and we want to make sure that our community sees this and that this gets a wide audience because this is really awesome. This is invaluable to our community at large. So Ex-Muslims of North America, or XMNA for short, has launched an Arabic Wiki Islam which is an online encyclopedia dedicated to providing critical and objective information on Islamic beliefs, customs, and history. This website aims to counterbalance religious and apologetic sources of information and provide free thinkers and skeptics in the Arabic speaking world with the tools they need to argue in favor of science, rationalism, and naturalism. Wiki Islam has been an important research resource in irreligious circles online and contains value uh, articles on various Islamic topics. XMNA has focused its initial translation efforts on the most significant articles for the Arabic speaking audience. The work of revamping Wiki Islam is ongoing and both the English and Arabic sites can be accessed um, online. That is amazing. This is such a Wiki Islam is such an amazing resource, and now it's available in Arabic. That's fantastic. That is. This is so important. Wait, Armin, if you scroll down on the page, um, you can open the site. Wait, go up. There should be a link to both. Yeah, right here. English site can be viewed here, and the Arabic site be viewed here. It's the last line in the English press release. Yeah, let's open both of those and show our audience. So Ooh, here you can see sexy. the Arabic Wiki Islam. So if you guys are not familiar with Wiki Islam, this is a super good resource. This is really important. So XMNA I, um, came into ownership or required, I don't know the technically correct word for, they took control of Wiki Islam in English. And it's like Wikipedia, but for objective, scholarly, academic information on Islam that is easy for the normal person to understand, like Wikipedia. Because there's a lot of information about Islam out there, but it comes from apologists. It comes from people who are evangelizing, promoting Islam. And it might not have scholarly rigor, right? There are whole bodies of research that examine this area of the world, this theology, the history of it, it its expression across cultures in an academic setting, in a more scholarly, objective way, but it is difficult for the average person to access that knowledge or understand, you know, un understand what an, a scholar is talking about these things, right? In Oriental studies or something. So Wiki Islam is supposed to be like Wikipedia, but to understand this vast body of knowledge and, um, and in an objective way that doesn't play into both the um, apologetics, but also the people who are trying to maybe not be completely honest about Islamic history either, because they just want to say anything that's against it. There are people out there like that, you know, that craft things for their own narrative, right? So they have this in English. And if you don't know about Wiki Islam, go check it out in English. But now we have it in Arabic, which is super important because there are almost 400 million people who speak Arabic in this world. And I can't understand I, this. It's a ton of the Quran, which means the contradictions in the Quran. Yes. Um, oh, so there are almost like 400 million people that speak Arabic in the world. But if I believe the last statistic I saw about this was that only like 25% or maybe less than 25% of the information on the internet is in Arabic or accessible to that audience. So having this vast you know, source of knowledge that's supposed to be easy to understand for the average person, accessible, now available to the Arabic speaking world. Like, I, to me, this is a freaking gift to the world, honestly. So XMNA is doing amazing work with this project. I wanted to make sure to highlight this awesome that they just launched this. It's live. So if you have friends that speak Arabic or um, um, maybe in the community in general, make sure to share this with them because this can help them understand Islam better and maybe have better arguments and inform other people as well. Okay, I have two suggestions. This is great, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to the to North uh, to the ex-Muslims of North America. I have two suggestions. One, 
I would like to see, um, if, if I may, um, a link between the English and the Arabic pages, right? So if I'm on this English page, English page, I would say, I'd like to see a language change icon here so mm. that I could link it. You could flip. So I could flip this so it could link it to the Arabic version of the same topic, right? Mm. Uh, that would be amazing if you could do that. And my second request, do you know what my second request is? You want this in Persian or no, no, you, you want it, Wiki Islam, but more focused on Shiism. No, no, the first guess was right. I want a Persian, I want a Persian translation as well. Please, please, please. I know, please, of course please, you please, do. Please, please. Okay, but the problem you... is I looked this up that the amount of We've people in the world that speak Persian is like a quarter of that that speaks Arabic. I'm not saying it's not valuable, yeah, okay. but it makes sense to start yeah. with Arabic. Let's let's be honest. <laughs> Also, actually, I'm biased. You're right. If the second language needs to be Urdu, because Iran is already yeah. moving fast in the way out of religion, so we need it in places where it's moving more towards religion. But it's which not is just Iran. Pakistan. It's Afghanistan, Tajikistan, like those areas. Tajikistan are is moving away from religion. True. Iran yeah, is moving away from religion. Too. Afghanistan has bigger has other problems yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. but yeah. or do i think the main place that needs it right now is pakistan so pakistan. Um, even though i would pr prefer to see persian i think the next, next language needs to be or maybe malay and havanese would be good too pakistan needs it the most right now it's they do need it the most. yeah yeah but i'm just saying i think in general we kind of forget about indonesia and malaysia yeah we do we do we do we do uh, we shouldn't be. They're moving. They're getting more religious as well, but not as fast as Pakistan. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, this is such a nice comment. When I hear that, I love this. He's saying, "I'm so happy for the people that will benefit from Wiki Islam and Arabic." Amazing. Oh, that's so great. That's such yeah. A, this is a really great comment. gift that the XMNA did for the community. So, guys, make sure to check it out. And if you're able to consider supporting XMNA so that they continue, because they're just starting. The, the Arabic Wiki Islam, right? They still have a lot more that they need to do. And that takes time. It takes hours. They have to pay people to translate. They have to verify the, and review the translations. It's a big undertaking. So make sure to go support their work because they invest a lot of time and a lot of money into the projects that they have. Um, so we we love we love supporting XMNA. They do really valuable work. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.